How much do you think uh, a factor is that uh, Steve Sarkeesian hadn't called plays for this team all year? And I know it's the same system. They kind of come from the same quarterback uh, uh, play-calling brain trust, but that, that's I've never heard of such a thing where a guy, I mean, we've only had the playoffs for three years now, but where you have one call in the semifinals and another one called in the finals, that that seems like it would it would hurt an offense. What's your reaction to it, Marcus? Well, I'm still trying to figure out how a consultant can go to the field <laughs> so quickly uh, and seamlessly. That's that's uh, what I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, uh, Steve, is a, he's, a, he's a good play caller. I think um, he should do well. Uh, but it's it's still interesting how quickly that that whole thing has transpired. Uh, okay, so so do you think it hurts? Uh, Jalen Hurts is just a freshman. They're gonna they they limit some of the things, uh, some of the looks that he has. I mean, I'm I'm just wondering how you think it affects the game. I I really don't think it's going to impact the game. I, I mean, for I, I don't know, but I mean, I, right. you got to believe that he has had some sort of conversation with him, and this this has been sort of in in, um, in motion, I guess. If, if if things don't work out with uh, with, with Lane, that you know, you know, we're going to sort of you know, sort of start this transition. And, I mean, I just don't understand how, obviously, because it's all about relationships, it's all about understanding players and stuff like that. And I know you've been sitting on the sidelines and you sort of been taking notes and, um, and, 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 and maybe, you know, adding some, you know, some observation to um, the offense and stuff like that. But uh, I just got to believe that, you know, it's, it's been more than just a week in the process. Marcus Allen joining us in the Doug Gottlieb show on CBS Sports Radio. Then you have the other side. You got Deshaun Watson. Who's, he throws more picks this year, but some of it is doesn't have a good running game. Uh, has had to work in some other wide receivers as well. But, but I feel like not only is he the type of quarterback that gives Alabama fits in the dual pass threat, but also his experience in so many big games, so many big moment, moments. I think we're going to see the best of Deshaun Watson this evening. What do you think? I, I think so too. I mean, personally, I'm pulling for him. You know, I, I'm really sort of neutral as far as the game is concerned, guys. And I just really want to see a good game. But uh, you know, I had the chance. I, I don't go very often, but the last two years I've gone to the Heisman Trophy uh, ceremony, and I got a chance to spend time with him. And he's such a great kid. I, I got a chance to talk to his mom and and his and his aunt, and they're just you know really wonderful people. And uh, you know, and I know it's been sort of difficult, maybe. You know, sitting there and coming in second, uh, I guess, you know, twice, you know, in, in, in two years. So uh, I, I know he wants to sort of make a statement uh, this week uh, or rather tonight. So I think it's going to be I think he's going to play well.